Hello there and welcome to part 10 of this tutorial series in which we're going to focus on this messages part or how to send a message but also how to extract the messages that we've sent or received using Tweetby. So let's start with of course first I guess most of you are here for sending messages and for that purpose we're going to define a separate function let's call it send message and normally there are two things that we need to specify. First is the screen name or uh, the Twitter profile of the user that we would like to send the message to. And then the second part is the text, right? Or the, the message itself. And although this is uh, what we ideally want to have, it's important to know that when we use this api.sendDirectMessage function, it actually takes the profile ID and then the text. And this is already getting a bit um, of an issue for us because we don't know the profile ID of normally the, the users, we just know the screen name. So we need to actually convert this screen name into a profile ID and then of course the text would be equal to the text that we specify. And this is important, that is also a string. So we're going to um, adjust that here. But if it's already extracted as, as a string, that, that would not be necessary, of course. Now the profile ID would actually be equal to api.getUser, and that's something that we have done in the previous tutorial. And then again, passing the screen name, and then .id. So just by having these two lines, what we do is first we get the profile ID, which we can use later on to send the message. And then, of course, the text is something that we pass. So, Let's give it a try and send a message from this Tweepy testing tutorial profile to my personal profile. So send message, and I mean, you can use this to send the same message to, to all kinds of uh, different users that you would like to target for a certain reason, but please don't spam and, and if you really use it, make sure that it's used for a good cause uh, because there's a lot of bots out there that spam um, Please do not be one of them and try to create something that adds value to the world and not that uh, wastes time or scams people. Please don't, don't do it for that reason. Um, so the screen name, of course, this would be my profile. And then the text would be, this is just a useless message. Now let's run this and at the same time, let's see if it correctly updates so we can see that it has been correctly posted or sent to, to my profile. So this works fine. And again, all you need is these two lines of code. And I'll, I'll remove, of course, this line as I don't want to keep sending this message. But there's something else that's, that, might, that you might find useful and that extracting the messages that are already sent or received. And let's define another function for that, which would be just extract messages. And here, uh, know that there's nothing that you pass related to the user or to your profile, all you need to pass is how many messages that you would like to that you'd like to extract. So this is just the number that you would be passing. So let's say five would be the, the latest five messages. And one way to do it is just to create an empty list and then add the text to these messages. So then you have uh, the entire um, all of the messages that you would like to extract. And, but let's take a look into the old data because we don't get the text initially. So let's get uh, all of the data related to these messages and then get the text out of them. So api.listDirectMessages and then count would be equal to the count that we specify. So let's return this old data and let's see what it is that we get back. So what I'll do is messages would be equal to extract messages and let's do five now let's take a look at at the length first you remember that i specified five but if we take a look at the number of messages that i have extracted it's four and here's why so i have here four messages that have been sent recently right so it's today and yesterday they have been scraped actually fine and this other one, which as you can see, dates for like six months ago, wasn't scraped. And this is because this method actually returns the messages from the last 30 days. So these four would, of course, fit uh, meet that criteria. This other message from December 19, 2020 doesn't meet that criteria. So for that reason, it is not extracted. 
So keep in mind that this method only returns the messages from the last 30 days. Now, what is it that we have in each message? Let's take a look into that. So let's print messages and then zero. So let's see the first message that is in our list or will be in our list. Um, what you will notice is that the text is, this is just a useless message. So this is the latest message that was sent is first in the list. So that's the order in which they're being extracted. So it, go, it starts from the latest one, it's being added, and then it continues all the way uh, to the, of course, going back in time until this count is being reached or until it runs out of uh, messages that have been sent or received in the last 30 days. But how do we get to this text? And you can see that there's a lot of information here. And of course, I'll try to make it easy for you. But basically what we need to do is first access the, this JSON. Then we need to access this message create. And then we need to access the text. So basically uh, our messages, say messages zero, we need to have this underscore or dot underscore JSON. Right, so first we're going to access this part, then message underscore create, and then uh, I think we have also one more message data before that. So message data and then text. And if I'm to print this, I would get the text. So it, we're kind of going through all of this information and just extracting the text. And I'm going to copy this part. And here's what I'm going to do. Instead of returning all data, I'll do the following. For i in range len of all data. So let's take a look at all of the messages, see how many they are, and then iterate through all of them. Get the text, and that is equal to all data. And then, of course, i. And then here we can pass this part, which is dot under, underscore JSON, then get the text. So for every message that we have extracted from Twitter, we're going to only extract the text. And then this is what we're going to append. So messages dot append text. And we're going to return messages. So now again, we have uh, five messages. We already know that it would uh, extract only four, but that's perfectly fine. And if we print this now, you'll notice that we have these four messages and that's basically what I have as input for this, for the purpose of this tutorial as an example, and that has been correctly extracted. So this was actually everything that I think is important regarding this part of the, the TweetPy library when it comes to messages and I'd say that there would be one more part, uh, probably relate to trends, but I'll see how that goes. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, of course, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.